So, Childhood Stress on Adulthood by James and Aromi. So what is this? A uh, toxic stress response can occur when a child experiences strong, frequent, and or prolonged adversity, such as physical or emotional abuse, chronic neglect, care caregiver substance abuse or mental illness, exposure to violence, and or the accumulated burdens of family economic hardship all the way to adulthood. <laughs> Causes of childhood stress. Stress may be a response to a negative change in a child's life. In small amounts, stress can be good, but excessive stress can affect the way a child thinks, acts, and feels. Pain, injury, illness, and other changes are stressors for children. Stressors may include having problems with friends, parental abuse, worrying about school, drug or alcohol abuse, seeing parents go through a divorce, poverty issues, and living in an unsafe home and environment. So, physical symptoms. Uh, children may not recognize that they are stressed. New or worsening symptoms may lead to parents to su suspect an increased stress level present. Some of the physical symptoms include uh, decreased appetite and other changes in eating habits, headaches, new or recurring bedwetting, nightmares, sleep disturbances, upset stomach or vague stomach pain, and other physical symptoms with no physical illness. Now the emotional and behavioral symptoms include anxiety and worry, not able to relax, new or recurring fears like the fear of the dark, fear of being alone or fear of strangers, clinging, unwilling to let you out of sight, anger, crying, whining, not able to control emotions, aggression, I mean aggressive or sub stubborn behavior, going back to behaviors present at a young age and doesn't want to participate in family or school activities. So problems with friends. Bullying is a major cause of stress and can leave anyone feeling hurt, angry, frightened, and even depressed. Bullying is considered a repeated and intentional act of aggression where one or more people plan to harm or upset another person physically, verbally, or psychologically. This has recently become a hot topic in the United States. Researchers show that about 25% of kids in the U.S. experience, experience bullying. In addition, um, the psychological effects of bullying can last well into adulthood and increase a person's chance of experiencing things like anxiety disorders. Um, parental abuse. While, psych while cycle injury Sorry. While psycho injury may be the most obvious danger, emotional and psychological consequences of abuse are also severe. In its most severe form, physical abuse is likely to cause great bodily harm or even death. Possible sites that a person may have be physically abused include uh, dressing in clothing designed to hide bruises or scars like long sleeves or jackets, uh, having frequent injuries with the excuse of accidents, being depressed, anxious, anxious or suicidal, having a low self-esteem, and showing major personality changes. Uh, now, oh no, so it seems like, okay, now possible signs that a person has been sexually abused include any sexual behavior between an adult and a child, exposure to a sexual activity, or rape. This can possibly impact depression, low self-esteem, and in adults experience the ramification of sexual abuse through anger, rebellion, and uh, self-harm and fear. Many people who have been sexually abused fall into the OCD pattern, and victims of sexual abuse will turn to food as a source of comfort, which often develops into an eating disorder like uh, anorexia, bulimia, and binge eating. Worrying about school. So a new year is exciting. Um, there's wonderful feeling that makes a fresh start, catching up with friends, and making progress by moving up a grade, but there's no denying that it can be stressful too. 
you will be worrying about deadlines, studying, overcrowding, poor time management, and all of these all of this stress can lead to affecting your health, even though you might not realize it. So stress symptoms can affect your body, your thoughts and feelings, and your behavior. Being able to recognize common stress symptoms can help you manage them. So stress that's left unchecked can contribute to many health problems such as high blood pressure, heart disease, obesity, and diabetes. You may think illness is to blame for that irritating headache, your frequent insomnia, or your decrease of productivity at work, but stress can actually be the cause. All right, next up we have drug and alcohol abuse. And this can affect you through your parents, family, friends, and teachers using it. So we're talking about peer pressure, which can affect you by causing you to abuse drugs yourself, underperform in school, like she said, and it can cause you severe stress, knowing that everyone around you is using drugs and they're trying to make you also use drugs. All right, next we have seeing parents go through a divorce, which can cause trauma, separation, anxiety, and complicated living. This can cause you trauma because if your parents are going through a very messy divorce, meaning things are very violent, constant yelling and screaming, that can be very traumatic on a teen, young adult, child. And then separation anxiety, which means kids may end up with the wrong parent, which means that they don't always end up with a parent that is actually better for them. And then next you have complicated living, which means kids would have to live two different lives, meaning two different birthdays, two different Christmases, and two different holidays in general, which can be very stressful on everyone. Poverty issues. Growing up without money can have an impact on your health, meaning chronic stress can lead to physical and psychological health issues. And most people in poverty live in unsafe homes, like in low income homes, are on average located in dangerous neighborhoods where crime is, occurs more often, like gang activity, drug abuse. So statistics. Although ch children experience stress in the same number as adults, statistics are um, very hard to come by. Many studies are done regarding how anxiety and stress affect adults and teens, but very few are designed specifically for children. This means that although there are some things generally known about stress and anxiety uh, and children, there are very few specific numbers. However, it is known that girls are more likely to have an anxiety disorder. Social um, anxiety disorder typically begins in the early teens, but it has also been seen in very young children as young as the age of seven. Phobias of all types are seen to have roots in childhood, according to statistics gathered by the Anxiety and Depression Association of America. The median age of phobias to start is seven, along with phobias, post-traumatic stress disorder, also known as PTSD, and obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, start at about the same time in a person's life. When a child is subjected to sexual abuse, they are more likely to have um, PTSD throughout their life, and approximate, approximately 13% of children will have an anxiety disorder. And in a, if untreated, the child is more likely to perform poorly in school and have issues with substance dependence. So in conclusion, things that affect adulthood are poverty, parental abuse, and drugs and alcohol. Poverty, again, can cause stress related to money, and then of course you have living in an unsafe neighborhood around crime, and then parental abuse, could lead to you excluding your relationships from romantic partners, platonic partners, meaning friends and family. And then drugs and alcohol abuse can lead to stress related to peer pressure. Again, peer pressure would lead you to use drugs yourself, underperform in school, and cause you severe stress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.